Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports Day subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, with December 10th being out of the picture, there's no Gennady Golovkin fight against Daniel Jacobs on that day. That fight has not has fallen through the cracks. It's being pushed back, and they're still negotiating for next year. There's a December 10th void to be filled, and it looks like HBO is trying to fill the, that December 10th date with the Terrence Crawford fight. Now, the opponent has not been announced yet, but the two names that have come up the most have been uh, IBF 140-pound champion Edward Troyanovsky um, and mandatory challenger Antonio Orozco. Now, supposedly Troyanovsky is supposed to defend his title in Russia uh, first, and that fight's not looked that, that that fight's being looked at as kind of a long shot. Aside from that, you know, Antonio Orozco, I'm not really looking forward to that. He's a guy who, honestly, and I, I'm trying not to be disrespectful here, but Antonio Orozco is one of those guys that, unless you're from California or you're in the boxing media from, in California, that nobody cares about. Nobody cares about Antonio Orozco. He got, he lost to Humberto Soto. They robbed Humberto Soto. Um, and, and he's being guys like uh, Abner Lopez, but Abner Lopez is a nobody. He lost to Alejandro Pereira. Um, the best one in his resume is Emmanuel Taylor, but outside of that, he gets, he's got nothing. And all it will be for Terrence Crawford is a master class performance of him fighting a one dimensional fighter. Now, every time Terrence Crawford's name gets mentioned, and any time they talk about his next fight, there's only two names that I told you guys, you know, that I would like to see. Um, now, Troy, Troy Nowski, if they can get that squared away, that'd be, that would that'd be more than acceptable because that's a unification fight. Troy Nowski is an undefeated good fighter. But outside of that, there's only two names that I say on this channel that I want to see Terrence Crawford fight next. And that those names are Miriam Mom and, T and uh, Adrian Granados. Now, more so Adrian Granados than Miriam Mom, because Adrian Granados, he's been a guy who in his career has fought so much tough competition. Nobody's really ever beat him. You know, he has four losses, but nobody's ever really beat him. So really I don't look at Adrian Gonzalez as a four-loss fighter. I look at him as maybe like a one-loss fighter or even an undefeated fighter. Because the guy has put in work. Felix Diaz, Ricky Gomez, Amir Imam. Um, he's got some great names on his resume as far as who he's been in the ring with. His most notable win on paper coming against um, Amir Imam last year and what, 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 what was upset of the year. Now, Adrian Gonzalez and I were pretty cool for the most part. Um, you know, I talk to him frequently. He's a nice, very nice guy. I'm hoping big things happen for him. I think that's a fight that should happen. As I said in the past, you know, Terrence Crawford uh, should fight somebody who we know is going to go in there and give it their all. I don't know about Roscoe. Roscoe seems like he doesn't have too much to offer for Crawford, but Granados, being that he's big fight tested, um, he's coming off of a big win in his career against Mary Mom. I think he deserves his fight more so than anybody. Uh, Mary Mom, for for stylistic purposes, I wanted to, I've always wanted to see that fight. He'd be the bigger guy, uh, good boxer puncher. I think both. Amir and Terrence Crawford have shown deficiencies within the defense at times, and both can get hit. So the fight will be entertaining. So that's just, that, that, that's, just how, that's just how I see it. Um, as far as as far as Bob Arum's concerned, here's what he said about that December 10th day. He said, "I quote: We're hoping to get it done, and hoping to get a good opponent. We're working on the December 10th for Crawford, but we and HBO only want to do it if it's significant. Now, significance is only subjective because." For the most part, promoters are very self-serving. Promoters are, you know, it's very self-serving people. And significance is so subjective. Um, I only think that he should fight Crawford or um, Imam or Granados or Troy Nasty. To me, those are the only three options. Orozco is not that good. He's going to get iced. It's not going to be an exciting fight. It'll be a huge waste of time. So... Um, that's what that's the news, man. December 10th, Terrence Crawford is, is supposedly supposed to be fighting on HBO. They they they're moving his date up because if you, if you guys remember about I want to say two to three weeks ago, I, I did a video because Bob Aramal recently said that Lomachenko will be fighting in December and Crawford will be pushed back to January 7th, January 2017. But with the Golovkin fight falling through, the fight has been moved up. So let me know what you guys think. Who do you want to see Terrence Crawford fight next? You know, for me, obviously Adrian Granados and um. And Mary and Mom are the, are, are the top choices for me that I want to see from a stylistic standpoint and an entertainment standpoint. I want to see if Crawford can, can look good against any one, either one of those two guys. 
because I think they're both tough, tough strong challengers. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, or you can love me, or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from being here. So until next time, take care, guys.